Yo, so today I'm gonna do my bookshelf tour and I'm so relieved that I don't have to do this for another year. It's such a pain to film and edit and ugh, hopefully it will, you know, answer some of your questions to what's like behind me here. It's changed quite a bit since the last time I filmed one of these, which might have been like a year and a half ago or two years ago now, but um, yeah. The order of my bookshelf is basically height and oldest to newest. I don't organize like, you know, um, alphabetical or numerical or anything like that. It's just I fling it on there and it makes it look tidy and things. I ain't got time for any of that bullshit. Yeah, so let's get into it. So here's a quick overview of my shelves. So the first doll I have here is the Alice in Wonderland Barbie. The next one over is Batgirl. Then I have Lucille Ball. Then I have Marilyn Monroe. Then I have Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Then I have the Festivals of the World Irish Dance Barbie, which was the first one that got me on this kick. And then over in the corner here, I just have the Happy Holidays 1996 doll. Excuse the weird angle. So this is the first shelf and I have just Blu-rays on this shelf. So let's get into it. A Game of Thrones Season 1, Inception, The Social Network, Edward Scissorhands, Whip It, Zombieland, 30 Days of Night, Poltergeist, Jennifer's Body, Let the Right One In, Kick Ass, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Pan's Labyrinth, The Exorcist, The Omen, the Batman Anthology, which consists of Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin. The Rocky Horror Picture Show, Beetlejuice, Labyrinth, Kill Bill Volume 1, Kill Bill Volume 2, Bridesmaids, Clerks, Mallrats, Red State, Fight Club, Shaun of the Dead, I Spit on Your Grave, Jaws, Scream, Pulp Fiction, Titanic, Stand By Me, Jumanji, Juno, American History X, Lady and the Tramp, The Lion King, The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, and Pocahontas. And then I just have a cup with my name on it that holds my crystal, so... Yep, and that is the first shelf. And now onto my second shelf over, which is where I keep what's left of my DVDs. Sleeping Beauty, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, Basil the Great Mouse Detective, Return to Oz, Hocus Pocus, Casper, Elvira Mistress of the Dark, The Craft, The Addams Family Values, Ginger Snaps, The Tenth Kingdom, The Simpsons Season 1, The Simpsons Season 3, King of the Hill, the first season, and Beavis and Butthead Season 1 to 3, and the movie. And now on to my DS games. So up at the top I just have my Pokemon White DS. Pokemon White version, Pokemon Heart Gold, Yoshi's Island, Mr. Driller Drill Spirits, WarioWare Touched, which isn't the best name for a game, let's be honest, and The Sims 2, which I just keep for nostalgic reasons. So next I have my Little Mermaid Snow Globe. Puppies from the 101 Dalmatians, a picture that Bevan had commissioned by her sister. So that's me and that's Bevan and I think it's pretty accurate. And then I just have a jewellery stand cat thing. And that's it, that is my first shelf done. Thank the Christ. And now onto my second shelf which is where my books start. The Kurt Cobain Journals, The Complete Works of William Shakespeare, Neon Angel by Cherie Curie, we Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson, My Boring Ass Life by Kevin Smith, I'm With the Band by Pamela DeBar, 
Geek Love by Catherine Dunn, American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis, which is one of my all-time favourite books, Less Than Zero by Brett Easton Ellis, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey, Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kaysen, Train Spotting by Irvine Welsh, Prozac Nation, Young and Depressed in America by Elizabeth Wurzel, American Gods by Neil Gaiman, Persepolis by Marjane Satrapi, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, The Virgin Suicide by Jeffrey Eugenides, Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk, Choke by Chuck Palahniuk, Dracula by Bram Stoker, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, The Girl Who Played with Fire, and The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest by Stieg Larsson. Ring, Spiral, and Loop, all by Koji Suzuki. And now on to my second shelf over. Bitch by Elizabeth Wurzel, A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, Part 1, Steel and Snow, a Storm of Swords Part 2, Blood and Gold, which I just finished a few weeks ago and loved, and A Feast for Crows, all by George R. R. Martin from the Song of Ice and Fire series. Let the Right One In, We Need to Talk About Kevin by Lionel Shriver, The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky, The Catcher and the Rye by J.D. Salinger, The Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King, all by J.R.R. Tolkien, Perfume, The Story of a Murderer by Patrick Suskind, A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess, Wasted by Maria Hornbacker, Anansi Boys by Neil Gaiman, The Wasp Factory by Ian Banks, Rosemary's Baby by Ira Levin, The Outsiders by Essie Hinton, Requiem for a Dream by Hubert Selby Jr., Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice, Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden, Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov, and The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. And now we're on to my bottom shelf. Up at the top over here, Howl, My Own Private Idaho Screenplay by Gus Van Sant, The Greek Myths by Robert Graves, Sailor Moon, Volume 1, Sailor Moon, Volume 2, Sailor Moon, Volume 3, and Sailor Moon, Volume 4. Wicca for Beginners, which I just use as a reference book, The Devotion of Suspect X, Misery by Stephen King, Carrie by Stephen King, The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty, Horns by Joe Hill, Kill Your Friends by John Niven, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, Ready Player One by Ernest Cline, John Dies at the End by David Wong, The Tooth Fairy by Graham Joyce, Invisible Monsters by Chuck Palahniuk, Animal Farm by George Orwell, Generation X by Douglas Copeland, Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, Stardust by Neil Gaiman, Asylum by Patrick McGrath, The Melancholy Death of Oyster Boy and Other Stories by Tim Burton, Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury, Pet Cemetery by Stephen King, The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson, and Black Coffee Blues by Henry Rollins. And if we move over a little bit, I just have kind of pencils and a pencil holder and a little box with pigs in it and space for more books. And now, finally, on to the last shelf where I just keep my graphic novels. Batman The Killing Joke by Alan Moore and Brian Boland, Tank Girl Volume 1, Tank Girl Volume 2, and Tank Girl Volume 3. Joker by Brian Azzarello, American Vampire Volume 1 by Scott Snyder and Stephen King, American Vampire Volume 2 by Scott Snyder, Wonder Woman Who is Wonder Woman by Alan Heimberg, Terry Dodson and Rachel Dodson, Batman The Man Who Laughs, Batman Mad Love and Other Stories by Paul Dini and Bruce Timm, Harley Quinn Preludes and Knock Knock Jokes, Batman Chronicles Volume 1, The Wonder Woman Chronicles Volume 1, Fables Legends in Exile Volume 1, Fables Animal Farm Volume 2, Fables Storybook Love Volume 3, The Umbrella Academy Apocalypse Suit by Gerard Way, Ghost World, I Zombie Dead to the World Volume 1, the Crow by James Abar, Batman Arkham Asylum by Grant Morrison, Batman The Dark Knight Returns by Frank Miller, Watchmen by Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons, V for Vendetta by Alan Moore and David Lloyd, and Black Hole by Charles Burns. And then I just have a little trinket box, uh, a candle, and a photo frame uh, that says Capricorn with a baby photo of me, and in the back I have a VHS of The Little Mermaid because I've started collecting Disney VHSs. And that is it. That is my bookshelf tour. So finally we're done. <sighs>
I uh, hope all, you know, it was worthwhile, all the editing and horribleness that iMovie glitches that I went through to film it. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.